Good morning, sir. Uh, as a developing nation, we have huge energy requirements and non-conventional energy resources as of now cannot cater to that requirement. And there is a group which is actively supporting nuclear energy, nuclear deal. So what is your opinion about nuclear energy and scope in India? Yeah. I think, you know, on the nuclear uh, issue, uh, the most important uh, thing to recognize uh, is that the production of energy uh, in a nuclear reactor does do it without CO2 emissions. So that's an important point to remember. But there are thousands of other processes in nuclear energy, starting from mining. Hmm? So actually, when you look at the carbon footprint of nuclear energy, it is there. It's not that there is no carbon footprint on nuclear energy. But it is significantly less than coal. Now, in, in any type of uh, hierarchy, uh, if you had to make a decision, I think nuclear would come much lower down compared to solar, wind, and biomass, uh, and many of the other things. Even a simple thing like energy efficiency uh, makes a huge difference. Now, I am an advocate of nuclear energy only because I believe that it is part of the solution. It is not the solution, and it can never be a major part of the solution for us. But it is certainly part of the basket of products uh, for energy that, that, that will be required by us. The interesting thing about nuclear energy is there's a lot of innovation going on now after many years. You know, there have been very, very few nuclear power plants built around the world uh, in the last few decades. Uh, in the US, I think the last one was built 30 years ago. In Europe, the last one was built 15 or 20 years ago. Uh, but we are still building, China is building, and there's a demand globally for nuclear energy. The innovation that is happening uh, is very interesting. Let me just give you one example. Bill Gates uh, is actually investing today in a company uh, called, I think it's called Terra Power. And the idea of Terra Power is to make micro nuclear plants. And micro means really tiny and completely hermetically sealed. And the, I, and the, uh, the original uh, fuel required for this is from the waste fuel of the nuclear reactors which are there in the US today. And so this is an innovative idea of using waste fuel, making a micro appliance out of it which can run uh, a village or a small town or, or, or a small factory. Uh, and, and so I think what we need uh, for nuclear will be a lot of innovation. Because I think that the threat uh, of nuclear uh, uh, fallout is very real. You are right here next to Kalpata. You know that. You can see it from your campus. Uh, but what they are doing there, they are, they, are, they are looking at a different way, a different approach. And the approach that India has been following is finding a more sustainable way uh, of, of working in, in the nuclear energy through the so-called three-stage fuel cycle. So they want to convert uh, the initial uranium uh, and then use uh, other sources in India uh, where we are uh, fairly self-sufficient to actually take this forward. I think this, this whole idea of fast breeder reactors and the three-stage uh, fuel cycle actually come about, it can be quite sustainable. But my expectation is that it will never exceed 10% of our requirements. Sir? Sir? Uh, my name is Gaurav. Sir, as my power world is talking about the green technology, uh, do you think that G and world are developing countries are doing their bit? Developed countries are doing their bit? They always think developing countries like India and China that they are not playing their proper role in promoting the green technologies. In promoting green technology? Yes, yes, sir. Now, actually, contrary to that view, uh, a lot of innovation and R&D is going on everywhere in the world today on green technology. Uh, in fact, if you see the type of uh, uh, appliances, even electrical appliances that are being developed today. For instance, GE has uh, uh, you know, the standard 60 watt bulb, incandescent bulb, gave a particular light uh, quality, you know, the, the type of light quality you got from that. And the challenge has been to replicate that in LED. 
because LED, the light is a bit harsh. It's either more bluish or more yellowish. But how do you get that same blue that you get from a normal 60 watt incandescent bulb? And that has taken billions and billions of research. So even a simple thing like a light bulb will require enormous amounts of research, and that's taking place in all types of electrical products and appliances. It's taking place across the world. Uh, I think the airline industry, uh, you take Boeing, uh, they have a huge program of converting uh, uh, airplane fuel uh, to bio. So, so I think what you will find is that you know, as the demand in society, at the end of the day, society accepted the past, which was pollution, and they lived through it because it led to growth. Today's paradigm, society, especially in advanced countries, are not prepared to live with what has happened in the past. They want a different paradigm. So, and it will not take that long for that paradigm to happen in India. We have to promote it. Nothing happens without promotion. Sir, can I, uh, my question is also regarding uh, carbon emissions. Can I, can I make a comment on yeah, take this, Malak. Yeah, take this. Actually, uh, for the past four days I was in Dubai and Abu Dhabi. I'm not sure whether you know this. The whole dynamics of energy has been put in between us. US was importing close to 70% of the energy needs from outside, essentially from Saudi Arabia. Just one month back they have announced not even a single drop of oil is needed in the entire United States because of the new technology and innovation that they caught in taking the shale in a meaningful viable alternate. So imagine if the entire needs of the United States are completely taken care of by the United States. Imagine what will be the price of the oil going to be. Just imagine that. Second, about 15 days back, Qatar, after a huge innovation and research, a small country called Qatar, huge innovation and research created a solar hybrid wind energy, which will supply the entire needs of China, Brazil, and a third country. One little country can, not, in addition to them, they will satisfy that. So now, I, all I wanted to know the power of innovation and power of research, which is going to change the entire world dynamics. And that was initiated because of this green energy plus. Just think about it. The whole dynamics, if the barrel of crude oil went to $185 and whatever it is right now, it may not, I won't be surprised if it comes to $12. Is that possible one month back? Think about it. It's all in your hands, folks. Get out to India and make some surprises to the entire world. Yeah, uh, actually, I wanted to ask uh, uh, carbon emission in India. Uh, the stance that India should take, it, should it aggressively go and curb its emissions compared to the Western countries, as Jairam Ramesh wants us to do, or should we uh, ask other uh, countries like Western developed countries to contribute more because uh, they are the biggest polluters? You are getting into politics now. <laughs> <laughs> See, there are two parts to this point. Okay, one is what's in our best interest. Okay, irrespective of the politics or who's asking for what. Okay, if it's in our best interest, we should do it. That's a simple point. I think that we should keep in mind in any type of negotiation. Okay. I think global negotiations are most of the time devoid of reality. So it's, there's very little point about high, uh, speculating on you know uh, these type of global deals, basically because you know there are some people who are control things, and there are others who have to follow. If India and China actually get together with other developing countries like Brazil, etc., Indonesia, these are the big developing countries. That's where the markets are going to be, that's where the, hopefully, in my view, that's where all the new innovations and ideas are going to come from. So, I think we have that opportunity of turning this whole thing around.